Welcome to a tutorial video on platform basics in Unity 2D. In this video, I'm going to discuss jumping. So in our previous videos, we've added our tile maps, we've arranged them in sorting layers, in the last video we added a sprite, and then we wrote code so we can move it around left and right. In this video, finally, we're going to talk about jumping. But jumping and the physics involved in that are a little bit complicated and require us to make an, an additional change within our hierarchy view. So we've got our different tile maps, ground and sky. For ground, I'm going to give it a tag. A tag is a way in Unity to sort different things and allow a quick comparison or a quick check to see if certain thing, to see if a certain game object has a certain tag. So notice in the inspector view it says tag untagged. Unity will create some basic tags for us, respawn, finish, editor only, main camera, that will help us along, but we're going to add a new one. We're going to add a tag called ground and save this. This allows us to, coming back to the hierarchy view, selecting ground, tag, ground, to compare while we're colliding if the thing we're colliding to is actually the ground. This may sound a little silly, but it allows us to save a lot of steps and quickly solve a physics problem. What we want to be able to do is while the player object is colliding with the ground to jump. Otherwise, we want to just fall or let gravity fall for us and push us down. What we don't want to do is to keep jumping endlessly into the sky, which is something we could risk if we weren't careful. So we need to test if we're standing on the ground before we jump. So we've done that by adding a tag to ground. Now we're going to write some code that checks for that. So moving back over to the code in Visual Studio, looking at the player controller that we created in the last video, I'm now going to create a new function called void as the type it returns on collision stay 2D. And notice Unity knows what I'm talking about and has told Visual Studio that this is a possibility. So on collision stay 2D, which is to say while we're colliding in a 2D setting, check this, which means while we're colliding with the ground, for example, that will allow us to figure out when we want to jump. So on collision stay 2D, and now we need to check this by writing a conditional statement using if. So if collision, which it provided to us as a parameter to this function, collider, which is the collider that is colliding with this game object, tag is equal to ground. If so, so this means we're colliding with something, we stayed colliding with this over a couple of frames, and we need to check, is this the ground? And so we do that by setting a tag. So now we're checking to see if that's the case. So now we say, okay, we're standing on the ground, we're pretty sure. So now we say if input get key, key code, so that way it's universal across systems, up arrow. This will be our jump. So now we're checking to see, hey, are we colliding multiple times? And then in our next conditional statement right here on line 34, is this the ground? So if we're colliding multiple times and we know it's the ground, hey, now we can allow the player to jump. So now we check to see, are they pressing the up arrow? If they are, then we can jump. So just like we added a force before, we can now add another force. I'm going to copy this code, line 28, and put it as line 38, but now change it, because now it doesn't know what movement is. So I'm going to create a new vector2, because that's what it expects, and call this 0. That's the first. We don't want to move horizontal when we jump. And set this to, to start 10. And I'm save this file. File, save. So we're now adding a force if we're pressing the up arrow and we're colliding with the ground. So let's go test this to make sure it works the way I said it did. Coming back to Unity, click play. And give it just a second to catch up. 
So, gravity took effect, our collisions still work, I can still move right, I can still move left, and if I press up, well, it doesn't quite work. So what do we need to change? Let's come back to our Visual Studio. We attempted to add a force while we were colliding with something, and the force was being negated. So there was a bit of a contest going on where we were adding force and negating and adding force and negating and adding force and negating it, and that just doesn't really help. We weren't moving anywhere. So there's another parameter we can add to add force called force mode. We'll call this impulse. Impulse does, if I place it over here, add an instant force. So instead of over time, it instantly does it, which allows us to jump. So we want to quickly move up. So let's save this file, save, come back to Unity, and click play again. Now we can jump. But 10 was way too much. So I don't want to go back into the code editor and keep changing 10 to a different number, to a different number, to a different number. I want to be able to change that in the Unity editor. So I can do that by making this a public variable. Just like our speed, I'm going to call this public float jump force. And that will be the amount of force applied on a jump. So instead of a fixed number 10, this is now jump force. And because it's public, it allows us to change it within Unity. Coming back over to Unity, selecting player game object. Scroll down a bit, change our jump force to, let's say three. 10 was pretty high. So let's play this again. Well, three is not bad. And we can hop around. And notice if I keep pressing up, it allows us to hop because it's only going to jump when we're colliding with something else. In this case, the ground. We know it's the ground because we gave the ground a tag. The tag of ground. So we can quickly compare, hey, are we colliding multiple times? Which we're checking on on collision stay. 2D. We see, hey, is the thing we're colliding with, is this the ground? So we double check that by seeing its tag. If it's ground, okay. We know we're on the ground. Now we check to see is the player pressing the up arrow? If they are, we add a new force, a new vector 2 using jump force just on Y, and then with force mode, 2D impulse. Again, we don't want to force over time. We want an instant impulse, an instant jump, and that allows us to jump, to hop, as long as we're colliding, colliding with the ground, and pressing the up arrow. So finally, we have our basics of a platformer. We could add more walls or platforms by adding tiles to our ground because our player would collide with those. We in fact could add multiple other tile maps to draw things in the background or add multiple platforms as long as their platforms also had a tile map collider. Because our player has a rigid body, we can move it. Because our player has collider, it will collide with other things within this project. But we have all of the basics right here. And we could expand this by adding new things for it to collide to, checking its tag, or adding, like I said, additional things, sprites that could move, or additional things on the tile map, like platforms we could interact with. But these are all the basics of a platformer. Using multiple layers of a tile map, a ground and sky, thinking through sorting layers where we're drawing things. Then we added a player object, we added some code so we can move it by giving it a rigid body, getting a reference to that rigid body within the start function, then using our fixed update to move things around by adding force, and then using on collision stay 2D to just double checking that the things we keep colliding with, if this is the ground, then we can check to see if we're pressing up arrow, in which case we can jump up. Thanks for watching.